lovely star Jessica Clark. Hi, beautiful donors. Yeah, and she's been knocking everybody's socks off. Truly, wait till you see this performance. You will not believe your eyes. <laughs> Don't embarrass I me. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm working as hard as possible to do the best possible job. And um, I love Paris and I can't wait for you guys to meet her. And this is our weekly Wednesday vlog mm -hmm. with the lovely Jessica Clark. After hours. After hours with, with Jessica, Jessica and Marina. Exactly. Yes. So we have some... This is good. We should have wine next time. Mm. Why don't we think I'm about that? that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the magic of movies. I, I love movies. Let's toast. <laughs> Let's toast to a perfect ending. Are you ready for a question? I'm so ready. All right. That's fantastic. This comes from Maria Soto. Hi, Maria Soto. Yes. Thank you for your question. Do you see yourself ever directing your own films? Oh wow. It's a good question. It's a good question. Yeah, it's good a job, very Maria. intelligent question. Mm -hmm. um, I what I love about movies and what I love about acting is, you know, telling stories and you know, really exploring characters and people and why we do what we do and just how we kind of like relate to our worlds. Yeah. Um, so I can imagine how at some point that would lead to directing. Um, but but I think I have a lot, well, I know I have a lot to learn as an actor and I really want to get as, as great as I can and, and really, you know, commit to that. So, but I, I guess in, in my fantasy world, I love the idea of like, you know, you know, in, yeah. in, in my future, you right. know, when I kind of have well, maturity and have those... Of course, Clint Eastwood's got it in his back pocket. Well, Clint is a master. He is. I, I mean, know. he's a phenomenon. He is a phenomenon. Like, and I so mean, Clint, if you're watching our blog, Jessica really would love to work with you. Yeah. I mean, you know, Just, it's an aside. I mean, if you really ask me nicely, I, I might think about it, Clint. I know. But, yeah. You know. We'll see. All right, ready? Ready. Another question. Ready. All right. How different is this role from who you are in real life? Are there any similarities? And this comes from Catherine. Dickman, is that what that says? Excellent. Yep. Thank you, Hi, Catherine. Catherine. Yes. Thank you for your question. Another intelligent question. Um, These are intelligent women. They're extremely intelligent women. I know. Yeah. I know. I was hoping for a little bit more kind of superficial, mm -hmm. like easy, but no, they're actually Not making off me the think. Hook. I know. You're making me think. Um, I, I think I really identify with uh, Paris's calmness, like her, her calm exterior, and the way she very deeply internalizes. Um, you know, some of her more traumatic, defined, you know, like uh, character defining life experiences. I really do identify with that mm -hmm. essence of her. Yeah, because you're very um, centered. You're very calm and centered. Yeah. And I think you guys share that. Yeah, I think we share that. Yeah, I mean, obviously there are, there are some differences in, in the ways that we make a living. Yeah, you know, I'm not a high-priced escort. Though if I were but an you escort, I be. would be high-priced. Exactly. <laughs> And Mimi. Wait, you got that right. Cohen. Mm -hmm. Did I, I, I? I love these names. Fabulous names. Um, because you're a fabulous donor. Yes, exactly. Paris is such a mysterious and complex character. What did you bring to her backstory that was not in the script? Woohoo! Whoa! Yeah, you, me, you guys! Oh my no. gosh! I know! You Where's the how tall are you? Seriously! <laughs> The, the reasons why, as you guys will discover, um, Paris chose to, to go into the profession that she did, um, and you know her experiences and her ability to differentiate between you know sex and love and passion and you know joy and pain and all of these different things that she's able to impart to her clients in some way um, come from her really understanding what, what a deep love, what that deep, intense connection with another human being mm -hmm. is. And so I definitely have brought my experience of that, you know, in my own way to, to inform how she operates. Right. That's um, great. Yeah. All right. Stephanie Ponder. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. Hi. What's one of the most life-altering moments in your life that's changed you for the better? within yourself. Wow. Stephanie is making you ponder. Oh god, I can't believe it. Oh my god, that was so great. Thank you for doing that. My first job was as a model and I started that really young and that's how I started traveling and I moved to Paris and I moved to New York. That's how I came right. to the States. And it can become very easy to be 
um, negative and kind of self-destructive. I didn't handle certain pressures very well and with the with the body and the mm -hmm. having to be so thin and oh. you know the being objectifying and things like that. I had I had quite a hard time with it. Mm -hmm. um, and there was this point where I really feel like I was kind of teetering on the edge, uh, where I was either going to kind of spill over just into that kind of. And just be a statistic. Just be a statistic. Be one of those cliches, yeah. or you know, make the choice to to kind of like fight against that stereotype yeah. and really use my experiences and who I was, you know, for a positive in a positive way. And and that's honestly when I fell in love with acting because I started taking classes and really just kind of exploring how to use the things that I felt right. um, in in a way that you know felt like there was some purpose. And it really kind of saved me. All right, so we have a few um, donors who just wanted a shout out. They don't have a question. So this first one is near and dear to my heart, Carla Feldman, who has donated not once but twice. Oh, Carla Feldman, we love that. I Thank you know. so much. She's one of my old and very dear friends and Carla I love you and thank you for your support you have no idea how much it means to me and you Carla all. you obviously have very great taste of friends so thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right now we have Valerie Lee Valerie Lee thank you Valerie um, giving you a huge shout out lots yep. of thank you for being part of our film family yes please thank you thank you now Carmen Costa Carmen Costa we now, have some good names I know glamorous names now the thing about Carmen Costa is her email says Carmem Costa. So I'm not sure if we're shouting out to Carmem or Carmen, but we're going to shout out to both of you. Either way, you're fabulous. Yeah, you are fabulous. <laughs> and we love you. And we love your name. I you love do. that name. We have a number of donors at that level who have not gotten back to us with their questions. So I think we're definitely open to uh, taking your questions for next week. Yes, we forgot the really important part. If you want to be included in our next weekly Wednesday vlog, and we really want you to be, and we really, really, really would love for you to be included, um, we'll drink wine. We'll be ridiculous. We'll answer well almost anything. Almost anything. Almost anything. So if you could um, go to our website, a perfect ending movie dot com, where there is also a daily blog, right? Yes, a daily blog from the mm -hmm. set photos, videos, etc. We would love for you. We need you. We actually need. We, we really do. Yeah. And you know, we I need your support. We need your support. And, and as an actor and being part of this film, I really think it's such a beautiful project. I think I'm so excited for everything that we're doing. And so any help that you can give us would be brilliant. Um, it would be so deeply appreciated. I mean, from the bottom of our hearts, we are all working desperately to make this the best film we can possibly make it, and we need your help, so please.